Just waiting for my phone to click seven o'clock. <laughs> All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the West Rockville Township Board of Supervisors meeting for November 18th, 2020. Would everyone please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <sighs> You may be seated. <laughs> okay. Um, is there any public comment on any any of the agenda items? We have not received any emails on agenda items. Thank you, sir. Okay, I will make uh, public announcements. Um, we had an executive session for legal and real estate on October twenty first of twenty twenty. We had a legal uh executive session uh, an executive an executive session tonight for legal and real estate issues uh, moving to the consent agenda consent agenda includes the october 21st 2020 meeting minutes the win associate plan status escrow release and vouchers emergency services report building zoning and building permit report public works report planning commission report fire contract for signature and that's for sellersville Authorization to advertise the sale of a 2007 GMC truck and the treasurer's report and payment of bills. Uh, Greg, would you please read the, the uh, treasurer's report, please? Sure. Give me one second here. Next slide. Okay, the treasurer's report for October 31st, 2020. The general fund, $517,985.90. Highway aid, $220,219.04. Open space, $1,173,500.04. The park fund, $25,000, $22.82. The equipment fund, $18,451.96. Highway Capital 129.38, Street Light 35,718.74. General Fund uh, Reserve Fund is 371,545.14. Open Space Manderfield 51,178.04. Sewage Maintenance Fund 180,648.98 and the escrow fund, oh, stormwater funds are $7,556.65. The escrow funds, $503,867.54. Thank you. Are there any uh, questions about any of the consent agendas? I'll start with uh, Jay, do you have any questions? No, I do not. Thank you, sir. Uh, David, do you have any I have questions? No questions? Thank you. And could I get a motion to approve the consent agenda? So move, David Collingwood. Do I have a second? Second, it, Jay Kaiser. Thank, thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, all in favor. Uh, confirmed appointments, Mr. Nicholas Fritz, Hercosy Regional Authority. Are you there, Nick? Yes. There good evening, are. gentlemen. Uh, yep. Uh, we, uh, Pete Anderson, the authority engineer is also on the call and we'll kind of go over, um, the plan that we're looking at, but we are in front of you tonight requesting, um, you all to consider a grandfathered mandatory connection ordinance for a potential sewer main extension along Ridge road. Um, Greg has the map showing the area that we're talking about. It would be. The area along Ridge Road, just in front of our building at 150 Ridge, and continuing uh, westerly on Ridge Road to Mountain View Road. So that would be the distance that we're looking to extend the sewer main. Uh, we have contacted the roughly 19 property owners along that uh, path that could potentially be affected by this uh, sewer main extension. And we've received a positive feedback from 11 of the 19 
and we have received a negative response from four, uh, and then a couple that didn't respond at all. Um, so with that being said, I'll turn it over to Pete and let Pete explain kind of uh, what the plan would look like. Good evening. Hopefully everybody can hear me. We can. Um, we're, uh, the authority applied for and received a, a grant from, uh, from the Commonwealth uh, for $200,000. Um, the sewer extension will take us from roughly the police station um, to the, the, I guess it's still a, a legal street to Mountain View Drive, although it looks like a gravel driveway. Uh, it's about 2,500 feet. Uh, we're proposing to put it in the road and provide sanitary laterals for um, 19 or 20 houses along the way. One house is a twin. Um, and uh, we were proposing to go out to, to bid over the winter time. Historically, we've uh, gotten good bids bidding in the winter time for a early spring start, and that is uh, that is our desire to do that with this project. It'll never be cheaper than this because of the two hundred thousand dollar grant we received from the Commonwealth. Um, in in the letter that Nick sent out to the property owners, um, there was a uh, estimated price. Uh, I believe $17,500 uh, for all of the tapping fees uh, to uh, for each homeowner. And with that, as Nick indicated, 10 people responded positively. Um, and I don't want to make the, the, this presentation longer than it has to be, but um, if there are any questions that the uh, Board of Supervisors have, I'll be more than happy to answer. Um, yeah, now, before you got the grant, I thought it wasn't the tapping fee like 40 some thousand dollars or more? It was it was substantial. Yes, yeah, that's sir. what I thought. Yeah, this um, is a great deal. I agree. Yes. Yeah. And the, the authority's policy is uh, uh, the the authority pays for one third. The grant will pay for the project is about six hundred thousand um, dollars in round numbers. So the authority will pay for one third. The grant will pay for one third and the people will be paying for one third. And it's it's substantially less. Years and years ago, we, when we came before the Board of Supervisors, the uh, the benchmark was always that the tapping fee and the connection fees should be less than the cost of a sand mound. And the sand mound today, depending on who you're going to talk to, is probably something in excess of $25,000. And some of these properties um, are in distress. And, and some of them, they, they can't have a, a backup system. They can't have a, an alternate system or a replacement system just because it just won't work. Um, so... Um, I, I was surprised at the uh, the positive responses from the people, um, but then to me that indicates that they're aware of the fact that they may have difficulty in conveying their homes when and if they decide to sell because of the fact that they have failing online systems. Mm -hmm. um, Jay, David, comments? I have one uh, question for Mr. Anderson. Good evening, uh, Jay. How are you? How have you been? Good, good. How are you? Very good, thank you. Good, thanks. Um, Ridge Road was just repaid two years ago. How are you going to handle the road when you if you dig the road up? Um, we we are we are in, we are in, well. First of all, we have to get a PennDOT permit, and so PennDOT will dictate its terms. But we are anticipating, um, as a minimum, a half width overlay, and, and in all probability, a full width overlay. All right. And uh, well, you, you're saying that you're only going to stop this at Mountain View? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's the only question I have for right now. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Jay. David, do you have any? I have no questions. I reviewed everything uh, in the packet. Um, I'm good with it. Uh, Greg, did you have any comments? No, I have no comments. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> then uh, tonight's request is to uh, bring the, the connection ordinance to the front and uh, and have us take a look at it. Um, I would like to authorize Mary to take a look at that and uh, come back to us next month with uh, her recommendation. Um, could I, if you, if David and Jay are both in agreement, could we just get a motion to pass that along to Mary? I'm fine with that. I'll make the motion, David Collingwood. 
Thank you. MJ? I'll second. Okay, thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Thank you, gentlemen. Anything else? That's it. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. That's probably our fastest confirmed appointment we've ever had. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Either we're very good or very bad. <laughs> very well prepared. Yes, that's the answer. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Committee reports. Park and Rec. Dave Rice. All right. I get a couple items on the list. Um, first of all, there will be no December Park and Rec meeting, just to um, publicly acknowledge, acknowledge that. Um, so generally don't have a December uh, Park and Rec meeting. Okay, and, and, uh, I think Greg has to, uh, has to uh, announce that in public or you have to advertise it, what do you have to do? No, I'll just put it on the website. Okay, all right, okay, thank you. And I'm muted, Mayor. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, and secondly, um, the Park and Rec would like to uh, request permission to utilize one of the um, township display cabinets that is in uh, the township building for some of our items that we've um, would like to show off. One would be a flag we just recently were um, uh, given from uh, Brian Fitzpatrick for a commemorative um, honoring the uh, 74 additional names. So some of those items, as well as like the agenda that we had for our Veterans Memorial dedication. So some of those items, we'd like to do that. We'd like to show off um, some of our other items that we may have to um, do something like that. So it would be um, something, you know, be commemorative so we can have some items in there. So just get your feelings for what you guys would be okay with that. How much, how much cabinet space are you looking for, Dave? You know, uh, like one shelf or, or just a lot or I, I don't know. Maybe two. I'm just thinking if we have some other items that we'd like to show off. Okay. Um, I think I know that the cabinets are pretty much filled right now, I believe. So I mm -hmm. think we would need to take a look at that and maybe get back to you next month. And in okay. my, this is my opinion only, by the way, the other two gentlemen can have their say, but I think we need to take a look at that and what's in there now and determine what, what could be done. They're both util utilized by the uh, historical society now, right? Yes. Okay. And they have a lot they of, have uh, they have a lot of valuable things in there, and I know they have to be um, temperature controlled. So I, I think I think we just need to take a look at that. Uh, okay, David or Jay, do you have any comments? Uh, David, here I, I have a that, comment. Um, yeah. It might. There's, there's no one going into the meeting room right now. No one's using it to uh, see these items. It might be better presented if it was in the foyer of the township building where you're going to have more foot traffic and more opportunity of people to see. I'm just, just my opinion. Yeah, I think, I think that would be an option because the only time anybody goes into that meeting room is if they have a meeting and that's hasn't been since March. And, uh, you know, we'll, we can look into that too. Also, would they, would they be behind like a display glass or anything like that? To oh, it would them? have to be, it would absolutely have to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's something that we want to want to make sure that it was protected. Yes, yes. Um, I would agree. Stuff like that. Yeah, you had a comment. Yeah, I, I think that Park and Rec should have one of those cabinets. I mean, the uh, historic society is going to be moving their stuff across the street at some point in time, anyway, um, which they were temporarily allowed. To, I don't remember. I don't remember um, that process of what how that was manufactured over there. So I believe that uh, there should be room made for them. Okay. Uh, I think uh, let's let's just take a take this offline and, and think about it and figure out what we, what all we can do to make sure everybody gets what they need. And um, and what, next month we can, uh, we'll, we'll come back to you next one, month, Dave. Thank you. Okay, sounds good. Right. Um, and then um, in regards to last month, uh, Penners Little League presented a plan for a new drainage proposal. Um, Park and Rec came back as well as the township came back and was looking to um, extend the um, the drain into the existing uh, drain that was behind the tot lot. Um, so basically, realistically, um, doubled the length of the drain. Um, so as we were thinking through, we were hoping to uh, utilize some of the allotment of the stone for the purpose in lieu of the money to 
um, help out the little league because they did ask for a donation since we were doubling the size or the length of the drain to tie into the existing the allotment of stone, which um, the price that we had looked at at the last um, value was right around nine hundred dollars. So my question was, could we utilize that stone, the allotment that the township has for that purpose to be our contribution, if you will, or donation to that uh, project? Sure. Uh, Jay, David, comments? I'm fine with it. Okay. David? I'm fine with it. Yeah. Yeah. And I am too. I, I think that as far as I'm concerned, that's not only going to help you, it's going to help us keep some water out of the dog park. It's also going to help us keep the flooding that's going on on the pathway down in front of the dog park. I think it's going to take some of that away too. So yeah. Steve, I'd ask you if you would just uh, give your blessing on it before we dig up the ground. Um, you okay with it? Yeah, I did have a chance to go out and take a look at it. And as a matter of fact, um, Seth was out there today when I was out, I talked to him about it and uh, it all looked reasonable and, uh, and doable. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, I, I think Steve, you also uh, put out a memo so that they the uh, there was some township and Bucks County requirements for backfill and how it was uh, the area was treated after uh, the work was finished, right? True. They they would have to immediately stabilize the area. Um, mm -hmm. So as you go, you know, uh, restore the topsoil, get it raked and seeded, and and straw mulched on it to keep us uh, out of trouble with the conservation district. Yep. Okay. okay. That sounds fair. Is that in an email or could you forward that in an email so that way we have it so I can forward it off? So if you don't. Yeah, mind. I'll find it and send that to you, Dave. Thank you, Steve. All right. Um, All right. So can we get a motion to approve uh, giving stone to this project? I'll make the motion. Thank you, Jay. Second. I will second, I will second it. You. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. All okay. Right. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, there was a request from uh, John Mann's family to allow um, the lighting of the Christmas tree, um, John's tree that was uh, presented as well as the bench. Um, so Polly would be able to see. So the family would um, light the tree up um, so she could see it from her back. Um, I guess from the back of the house, she would be able to see it. So she has a direct view of um, the tree and the bench. So that's kind of why we picked that location as well as the family had requested if they would be able to light it up with the uh, Christmas lights. If that would be okay. I I don't have a problem with that. Does anybody have a problem with that? I have no problem. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. All right. I don't think I don't think it's something we need to vote on. I, okay. I, I just we figured we'd ask just to make no, sure. No, no, that's fine. I'm glad you asked. That, that's good that you asked. I just I, and we all agree that it's a good thing to do. Okay. Yep. All okay. Right. Um dedication ceremony was phenomenal. Um, if you were able to get out, it was a beautiful day. We had, um, we commemorated um, 74 additional names to the new plaque that was um, uh, presented and dedicated. It was beautiful. The music, the everything that went on that day from the Boy Scouts, the Girl Scouts, the Bugler, the um, post um, American Legion post that was out there, the, the quartet that was there, um, park and rec members that aided Fred, Charlie, Allen, um, they all spoke, um, had some great video. Uh, we videoed it. Um, we, so we have a, had a live stream as well as we have a video posted up on a website as well as we're going to have, um, a video or a, uh, pictures, all the pictures that we have, uh, putting that into a, um, slideshow so we can present all that. Um, so it was just a huge day. It was beautiful. Um, everybody loved it. Um, and it was just phenomenal. I had spoken to, uh, Brian Fitzpatrick, who was there, who spoke, um, afterwards. And I had talked to him and I asked him, I said, how, is there any way we can commemorate this? Because there are 391, you know, members that are already on the existing, um, memorial. We added 74 and the four that were not there. We also mentioned those in that day, um, veterans. So we'd like to, um, I said, is there any way we can commemorate them? And he suggested that um, I we put a presentation together or something of the such so they can um, actually archive it in the National Archives down in Washington, D.C. So um, I'm going to work with him to make that happen. So our little township, West Rock Hill, it's going to be our memorial. It's going to be memorialized down in the National Archive in Washington, D.C. 
Great. That's so great. Think, great news. Thank you. So, absolutely. Um, let's see. And I just want to give a big shout out. I mean, I know this is, we had our last uh, park and rec meeting for the year, but I just got to say uh, all the park and rec members, we had a phenomenal year. We got, had a lot accomplished even during COVID. Um, this came off the veterans memorial, the plaque dedication was just a wonderful event for everybody in attendance. It was just it, the culmination of all the hard work it paid off. And we have, I just want to say, we'd have a great, great committee. Um, I'm going to brag and I'm going to say, I think it's the best committee we have, but you know, everybody's, you know, has their opinion about that. But um, I just want to say that um, publicly. So it's on there. Um, and uh, no, it was just a beautiful day. And that would be all. Okay. Does anyone have any questions for Dave? I have, I have a comment. Yeah. I have one comment. Okay. I want to thank Dave. Dave, I want to thank you and the, and the uh, um, Park and Rec Committee for the for the well displayed uh, event that you put on there for the vets and uh, and the township. So, very well done. I was there, intended, and and uh, you did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, can I get a motion to approve the Park and Rec report? So moved. I'll make that. Uh, I think I heard Jay. Uh, David, you want to second it? That's fine. I have second. No problem. Okay. Okay. All in favor? All right. All right. Thank Bye. you. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Conservation Committee report. Uh, Mike Schremeyer. Yeah, the Conservation Committee met in a virtual session on November 4th at noon. And the primary uh, agenda for that was to discuss the uh, fencing and the ground cover for the proposed solar array. And I guess the question, uh, Jim, is do you want me to wait until later in the meeting when you've gone through the other items before I go into any details? Yeah, let's save that for the new business. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay, thank you. Um, then there is no other report. Um, there's really nothing there to approve yet. So we'll just uh, say thank you, Mike. <laughs> Okay. Uh, commission reports, uh, police uh, report, Chief Blake. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. The Penridge Regional Police Department responded to 419 calls for service uh, in October. 188 were in East Rock Hill and 231 were in West Rock Hill. The department handled 30 traffic crashes, 15 crashes in East Rock Hill and 15 crashes in West Rock Hill in October. Just one the side note, uh, since it is current, we did investigate a fatal car crash uh, on 1110 at County Line Road and Barnt Road. Uh, we also responded to 36 crimes, 11 Part 1 crimes and 25 Part 2 crimes for the month of October. In East Rock Hill, the crimes are as follows. Uh, three theft cases, two DUI cases, three fraud cases, two possession of marijuana cases, three dog law violations, two criminal mischief violations, one trespass and one ordinance violation. In West Rock Hill, their crimes are as follows, uh, two sex offense against the minor cases, uh, four theft cases, four fraud cases, one burglary, one DUI, one criminal mischief, one trespass, one assault, one harassment, and three ordinance violations. Um, the charges filed in October, uh, one was filed, the one charge was filed for possession with intent to deliver narcotics, uh, one aggravated assault, one simple assault, one recklessly endangerment, one possession of instrument of a crime, one possession of marijuana, one possession of drug paraphernalia, and two charges, uh, two subjects were charged with DUI. Officers conducted 273 traffic enforcement details, also 139 traffic enforcement details in Old Bethlehem Pike issuing seven, seven verbal traffic warnings, 74 traffic citations, and 61 written warnings. And officers also conducted 357 business checks. And that's the police report, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Are there any questions for the chief? I have none. I have none. Okay. I'll make, I'll make a motion to accept the chief's report. Can I have a second? Second, David Collingwood. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Aye. Thank you. Uh, Joint Rec Authority. Last month, I presented some really ugly pictures of the pool where we had dug it out and uh, we were in the process of fixing a lot of the piping underneath. 
I'm happy to report that that is complete now. The cement was poured and uh, professionally finished. Um, first of all, I want to thank Tony Bogner, who had originally come over and helped us dig all that out. Tony, without you, we would have never gotten this project off the ground. And I also want to thank David Collingwood, who worked with uh, nice concrete to get us, was it three or four square, uh, cubic yards of concrete to, to fill it in? So, uh, thirdly, I want to thank Nice Concrete for donating that to us. Um, the work was done uh, with within four days of when we when we requested uh we, we knew that we had to get it done before a, a huge rain came and they did they got they got all the work done and um and it was completed and had a day and a half to dry before we, we got drenched with rain so uh it looks very good and i think uh we're all anxious to get the pool open again next summer so uh i have nothing else to report on the joint rec authority at this point uh we're all buttoned up now for the winter and uh, we look forward to the spring. We've already started making plans for next year. Are there any questions for me about the Joint Rec Authority? I have none. I have none. Okay, hearing none, um, could I get a motion to approve the Joint Rec Authority report? I'll make that motion. Thank you, Jay. Second? I will second, David Collingwood. All in favor, aye. 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 Thank you. Tax collector report, Suzanne Clark. Okay, for the month of November for annual taxes, I've collected $306.25 township tax, and in 2020 interims, $89.11. Uh, that's that's the amount that I've collected. Uh, I just wanna let everyone know that all the final notices have been mailed. Everyone's been notified that if they hadn't paid their county, township, or school tax bill by this time that they are, their bills are outstanding. And just to let everyone also know that the third school installment is due December 15th. Some people confuse it with being due the December 31st, but the third installment's always due the 15th of December. And that's okay. all I have. Thank you. You're welcome. Are there any questions for Suzanne Clark? I have none. All right. I have none. Hearing none, uh, could I get a motion to approve the tax collector report? So moved, David Collingwood. Thank you. And a second? Okay. Thank you, Jay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the engineer's report. Hey, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, all I have on the report tonight is the ground mounted uh, solar installation bids. As you recall, we tabled them last month uh, to review some. Uh, questions and, and financing issues. Uh, where we left off was Exact Solar was the low bidder uh, for the base bid at $169,278. Okay. These bids um, will no longer be active as of the 29th of this month. So we do have to, we do have to take action tonight. Um, I'd just like to add that this has been quite a project um, there's a lot of folks involved. Um, we've been working on this for several months now, probably since March when we started it. Um, I know one of the questions was, what is the payback period? And I have done some numbers on this. And I just wanted to, to give those out to you. Um, I, I looked at what we're paying now for electric. And I also looked at the current, um, the current rate of inflation. And I, and I plotted out over the next 10 years with a current rate of inflation. It's currently about 1%. It's going up to 2.1% projected next year and 2.7% the year after that. So I just used a flat rate of, of about a 1% rate of inflation. And I looked at that compounded annually over the next 10 years, and I added all those numbers up. So what I'm getting at is if we take the money that we are currently paying for election I'm sorry, for electric, out of our budget each year and put it right back into the um, reserve fund, then in about that plus the solar recs, which it can sell, and any money we get from PPNL for over generation, I believe we can pay this back in under 11 years, 10 years plus a few months. And I'm still working on other avenues to get more money, but I figure that that's where we would be 
and we would we would be getting solar then for many many decades to come so i think it's a great project i have been working with also i've been working with the bucks county uh, upper bucks county tech school technical school to get their students involved with this project i know that uh, i've already gotten uh, mark uh, bortman who's on the call also owns he and his wife uh, dara own exact solar we've we've talked and he's more than willing to, to use it as an educational project uh, we've been asked to go up to the tech school and talk to their staff about ways that their students can get involved and how this can become more informational in the general public and for and and really expand this out for to help to help guide folks at the tech school let's say to uh to start looking into some of these other careers i've also been working with um dr mark hoffman at the bucks county intermediate unit about getting the girls involved from the steam program that's science technology engineer art and math uh, it's a it's a organization it's a, a program that helps promote females in those fields and he's very excited about it and he's actually has some of his staff looking into ways they can start promoting this if we if we move forward with it so i think i think this is a great opportunity for not only west rock hill but for bucks county from an informational perspective from an educational perspective um I just, and and I can't say how much I really think we should do this. So I'm gonna open this up for comments. Uh, I'll start with Jay. Yeah, I have a question, Mr. Chairman. Um, you, you gave the numbers there and, and analyzed the pay time. Was the, um, was the maintenance contract included in that as well as, as, well as the money that was uh, talked about screening and 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 those things uh, this, oh, go ahead i was gonna yeah. say just add to that uh, uh because we had we had talked about before you had said that there was no maintenance on these but i saw a, a maintenance contract that you had to sign or take if you did the projects with that company for fifty thousand dollars i want to know if you included that in the price of that payback in 10 years or 11 years that maintenance contract was an option. And, okay. and we determined that the maintenance we're getting with the equipment itself was, was more than sufficient. The other, and Steve, correct me if I'm wrong, Steve, but I believe that was an option that was not included in the package. Uh, it was just an option we could, we had the. It, it, was, it was bid as an alternate, which was, and it's your choice whether or not to, you had the option to except just the base bid or the base bid with the alternate, which would be the, yeah. the warranty. We, uh, in part, we wanted to see what information we, you know, would get submitted with the warranty so we could further investigate whether it was worthwhile doing. And I think as you indicated, Jim, uh, there's, there's other standard warranties that come with the equipment that uh, provide protection for the township. Yeah. And, and, and Jay, I think the other part of that you're asking about, was was part of the ground cover um yeah that is not included because i was going to discuss all that when we get down to that uh in new business okay but isn't that important because uh you know of course that's not free you're going to have to pay for that and uh the ship um, that okay. you and, have yeah i understand and i want i really want to save that for down there um i'm not if we okay. have to add that in we'll add that in but as you know, that part of this uh, uh, new business uh, ground cover is about a solar grant and money that we can get. Hopefully, we've and we'll talk about that later, which will drastically cut down the cost. Of, and um, if if we need to add a couple thousand dollars onto this overall cost, then we can talk about it down there. Because if, I mean, if we choose not to do that, we can even just go with mulch. I mean, we could go with mulch. We could go with grass. There's a lot of things we could do, but we're still working through all those issues. But I really wanted to hold that off till the new business. Okay, I'm fine. I, I just don't. I don't understand. I don't. I don't know how you can move forward if you don't know the cost of what it's going to be. You know, you're saying we can get a grant, but you're we're not positive about that. 
you should know that before you before you vote to move forward with the project. Like, just my thing. Um, and I know that you, everyone has done a, a tremendous amount of time and, and effort into this project. And you're presenting something like most large not invest money like that they can get back when it's four years. Um, I think after 10 years, though, you break up. Jay, you're really but, breaking up. Okay. I'll let you move forward. I, I think you got my my uh, uh, concerns. There, now you're cleared up again. Um, I do. I understand your concerns. We don't have if if we don't go forward or if we don't get the grant, there are other options we can do, which will be pretty much uh, very very low cost. Um, and I think we can get get that taken care of. Um, I don't see that as part of the overall bid for this contract right now. Uh, it's a separate, okay. a separate issue. I understand what you're saying, though. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, David. Basically, um, you, you could choose to do nothing as far as the um, the ground cover or any other things that you might be considering down there. We could, yes. So, yes. I think that if there is a price associated with that, it 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 probably wouldn't be that much. I mean, it could be a workaround. Um, if, if, yeah, I've given us a lot of thought. I, I, I think um, this is a technology of the future. And we've already installed the electric charging stations in James Park. And we'll probably entertain the purchase of an electric vehicle for the regional police department in the not too distant future. So I think this would be a great model for Bucks County. Uh, I, the, the project's been reviewed by Dr. Vera Cole, who is a resident expert in solar energy initiatives. The lease has been thoroughly um, reviewed by our township attorney and our township professional engineer so I, I fully support it okay uh, Jim if I, this is this is Steve if I might clarify uh, the contract did include the maintenance free ground cover basically uh, fabric and mulch under the panels so the project will be complete in itself as it's bid the enhanced or additional plantings was always considered an optional project by the township uh, if you do decide to proceed with that. Oh, thank you, Steve. Thank you for the clarification. Okay. Okay, uh, Greg, have you had any comments online? None on this topic. Okay. All right. If there are no other questions, then I would like to make a motion to approve the solar bid award to exact solar. Do I have a second? I will make that second, David Collingwood. All right. All in favor, aye. Uh, David Collingwood, aye. Opposed? Jay, I didn't hear a comment from you. I said opposed uh, okay. because you do not have a complete number on what it's going to cost the taxpayers. You're I think Steve things. just gave you that. Steve okay. just told you. Steve just told I, you I, that the basic ground I, cover was was included. I, I heard that, but you but we but you're putting this right in the park, right behind the township building in the park. You don't have any security for vandalism in the future. I understand that you made a motion in a second. I'm only giving you my opinion publicly that okay. I, I oppose. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, the motion passes two to one. So thank you. Steve, do you have any other items? No, that's all I have unless there's any questions. Uh, no. Can I get a motion to approve the engineer's report? I'll make a motion, I'll make David Collingwood. Okay. Can I get a second? I'm sorry. Do I have it? Yeah. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Thank you, Jay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Solicitor's report. I have nothing to report this evening, Mr. Chairman. Wow. Thank you. I know. <laughs> Everybody gets happy when I say that. Yeah, I know. Uh, Township Manager's report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The first item is I'll be seeking authorization to advertise the 2021 budget. We have to authorize advertisement of it so that it goes up on the website and people can inspect the budget. Um, Sherry, if you want to go to the next slide. Uh, one of the things that there is no proposed new taxes in this budget, and I'm very proud that Rock Hill Township has the lowest tax rate of any municipality with a full-time police department. So all three of you do an excellent job in keeping taxes low. So no new taxes. If you want to go to the next slide, Sherry. Um, the 2021 budget projects, um, $411,322 will be allocated for road repair. In 2020, it was uh, $221,465. Um, the township is anticipating this year carrying over a little bit less money than last year and for to start 2021. So it's been it's been a close year. Um, the holiday house pool is budgeted for thirteen thousand for twenty twenty one, and any other projects must be taken from the reserve account in twenty twenty one. This will be reevaluated as the year progresses. Okay, we have no other projects at this time, so I understand that uh, the road. The road projects, um, Steve, I think uh, you, I had asked you and you said that we did not finish everything we wanted to do for roads this year. We did not get the line striping done because the, uh, the companies were backed up because of COVID-19. Is that correct? That's correct. It was hard to independently contract with any of the line stripers. So okay. next year we will include it in the paving bid itself and, okay. uh, and make up for this year's roads plus whatever we have next year. Okay. Thank you. All right. And this is not to adopt the budget. This is just to advertise the budget. Um, in the December meeting, we would adopt the budget. Okay. Uh, if there are no questions, can we um, make a motion to authorize um, to advertise the uh, proposed budget? I, Jay Kaiser, I would make that motion. Thank you, Jay. Second. David Collingwood, second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. The second item is we have a resignation from the fire marshal position, which is a volunteer position. Um, Joe Rapp has been the fire marshal for many years. Um, this is a volunteer position. Currently, we are... Um, what Steve and I do. Usually the fire marshal reviews uh, land development plans. Um, so we have incorporated using the fire chiefs currently to review each uh, project that's in their territory. So it's up to the board if they would like to advertise for the volunteer position or just continue to use the fire chiefs as the review agent for all uh, land development plans. Comments? I'll, I'll make like one comment. Go ahead, David. Go ahead, Jay. Um, I would, if if Greg's comfortable with the uh, fire chiefs, and they don't mind doing it, they're the ones that are going to be serving the uh, uh, the communities. I'm comfortable with them staying with the fire chiefs. Okay. Comments, David? Yeah, I was going to say exactly the same thing. It makes sense if uh, the local fire chiefs, they're they're more in sync with probably what's going on anyway. So it's, uh, yeah, I think that's the, the way we want to go. Okay. I would agree also. Do we need a motion on that to just? No, you just have to note that we've accepted the fire marshal's resignation. Great. Thank you. Good. We have accepted that. Okay. Any other? Yes, um, I have one item that is not on the agenda. I'd like to make a recommendation of hiring Christian Brown as a temporary part-time public works employee for the winter. I forward the, uh, res uh, the resume and the application to the Board of Supervisors. 
Okay, comments? I'll make one comment, Jay Kaiser. I'm comfortable with Greg's um, request. I've uh, spoke with him about this young man, and I believe it would be uh, uh, very helpful. We do not have much time because winter is coming upon us, and we do need another plow operator. Yeah, I would agree with you, Jay. David? Totally agree. Not okay. a problem. Can we make a, can I get a motion to hire the part-timer? I'd make that motion. Oh, thank you, Jay. Second. I will second. I will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. That's all I have. Thank you. Can I get a motion to approve the township manager's report? So moved, David Collingwood. Oh, and uh, Jay, you want to second that? <laughs> okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, old business. Does anyone have any old business? I, I have one thing, Mr. Chairman. Yeah. I want to ask, because I got a couple calls about the charging station. Um, one, of the, one of the questions was, who's paying for it? And, of course, I said that the township that we are. And then uh, the other question was, is why isn't there a um, meter on it? Now, I remember us talking about this when we approved this. And... Um, I was under the impression that we were going to be charging for the charging of this station. Um, and we going to get some prices or whatever the, uh, whatever the rates were. And then we were going to go accordingly and make a decision then once we found out. I don't believe that's been done. And I also was looking at uh, the numbers that Greg had sent to us about monies that were spent last year that were not budgeted. And I, re I recall us approving nine thousand dollars now i know that there's money that we had to get back in a grant but the number that is twenty thousand dollars for that charging station and from what i'm hearing there's people from the township that are charging their cars there i don't know how many people we have in west rock hill that have electric cars um so are we are we putting um a meter there and if we're not why aren't the charging station calculates how much energy is being used and we do charge for uh, the electricity and we charge the going rate. The board of supervisors authorized um, the township manager to set the rate for what we pay for electricity. And that's what the rate is set at. Okay. So, so we are charging. We are charging. And yeah, there's a promotion that the first 10 were free. Um, so there was a promotion where 10 charges were given away free, but then after that, we started charging for, um, that the other issue was that the original price was $16,000 with 9,000 coming back in a grant, which has been applied for and that it comes back. There was an additional charge because the township was going to do some of the work. However, at the last second we had, um, someone out in the public works and because we only had one public works employee it was unable to get done so i had to get a contractor to do additional work okay okay thank you yeah information jay and, and you made a comment about the township residents um the the station is open for anyone who wants to charge up there I can tell you, I used it the other day and I paid for my electric. Mm -hmm. So, 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 you know, I know now that, you know, it was free for the first 10, like Greg said. Um, but I charged up the other day just to check. And yeah, it even, it even tells you on the face of the meter or on the charging station itself, what the cost is. And also, if you look at the charge point website, um, you can, you can look up the actual charging station and it tells you what the price is on there also. Okay, great. Um, yeah. cause that was something. You know, somebody ran into somebody there from yep. out of our town that said it was for free, and it, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think. But anyway, thank you. Yeah, that 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 those first ten charges, I think, made everybody think they were going to come here and get free electric all the time, but uh, it's not the case. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, does anyone else have any old business? I have none. Okay. I'm uh, moving to new business, and that is the solar ground cover grant. Um, we have put together, as Mike mentioned, a. We originally talked to the. 
the conservation committee to see if, if they were interested in just helping plan out a project for this. Um, we want to put fencing around it. We want to put nice ground cover down, especially if we start having students come in for tours or anyone, any other townships come in to tour it. Um, so as it turned out, there were some people on the conservation committee who weren't real comfortable with it because they didn't feel they could add anything. So we actually set up a smaller committee right now, which consists of Vera Cole, Mike Schreemeyer, and myself. We are looking for some additional people who who might be interested to join us. It's open. This this should be a you know a, a public. Uh, the public is invited. Let me say, um, I would like to find people who can can help us with designs. Um, Mike, I'll let you take over here and, and then I'll talk a little bit later. Okay, um, what has been done so far is the uh, Pico Green Region has a grant program, which is a matching grant for anything that's involving open space or environmentally, let's say environmental improvements. So we did check and they would um, entertain uh, fencing around and ground cover as far as their open space grant. Uh, deadline was actually Tuesday, yesterday. So we submitted a, um, a grant request, which would be for fencing around the solar panels and then also for uh, a pathway so we could uh, have tours in between the panels and also then for ground cover. So that would be a matching grant and uh, that's been submitted. Uh, the grant would give us up to $5,000 from Pico and then we'd have a match to go with that. I think the idea was the fence would look very much like, uh, it's not cast in stone yet, but it would probably look very much like the um, fence around the dog park, which would provide a measure of security and that plus the cameras would um, provide us with security against any kind of vandalism. And uh, then the, the ground cover, um, if you do put mulch in, that's, let's say, good for a year or a couple of years, but the ground cover would be a more permanent type of natural uh, ground cover. And again, we just did the grant. We haven't done a lot of the planning on the details of the fence or the ground cover. Um, I don't know if there's any other questions. Uh, Jim had al already mentioned that. Upper Bucks County Technical School is going to be helping with the um, ground cover. And then the Bucks County Intermediate Union, the uh, unit, the uh, girls STEAM program probably will be helping us with um, a uh, website that will have information and actually hopefully a live feed from the solar panels so you can see what's generated. And I think that's it. And well, Jim, I'll, can I'll I ask? Yeah, I'll just add in that Vera Cole is working with uh, the Penn State Extension in Bucks County, uh, the Master Gardener Program, to to get someone involved to help us uh, put together a, a plan for native Pennsylvania plants so that we have something that really fits into the ecology. Uh, we, wanted, we wanted something that is as, as maintenance free as possible and is purely Pennsylvania native. So she's working with them. There's no cost for that, by the way. Um, and as Mike said, we are still working at details to on the, the fencing. Um, and Jay, this is what where I wanted to mention that our 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 out of pocket cost could be up to five thousand dollars. But I'm already working with some other organizations to see if we can get funding through them, uh, through donations. There are a lot of, of businesses in our area that l would like to invest in a, in a project like this where we're doing open space, green space. So um, I'm working on that. My plan is to get as much of that covered as possible out of our $5,000 uh, commitment. Thank you. Thank you. And, and we're looking at probably, probably look, looking at six months before we'd be doing this. So. Yeah. So I hope that answered your question. Yep. Okay. All right. So um, I'd like to put up to vote uh, 
get an um, get a motion to approve the solar grant, uh, the, the the grant for the solar ground cover. Uh, we need to get the the uh, actually what we need to do is we need to authorize a resolution which was in the packets and and David and Jay, you've seen this. It's just a small resolution saying that that we would match the funds supplied by the grant. So could I get a, a motion to approve the resolution, which I think would be resolution 243? Is that right, Mary? Yeah. Yes, that's right. He's on okay. All right, 243. Yes. All right, can I get a motion to approve resolution 243 for a ground cover grant? I'm I'll sorry, I was motion. muted. I think it's resolution 17, that's, isn't it? Isn't right, it? Yeah, that's the ordinances. You're right. I looked at the ordinances. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the ordinances too. Yeah, so did I. Okay. Sorry. All right. Okay. So what number is it? What's the correct number? 2020-17. All right. And Jay, if we don't get the grant, if we're not approved for it, we'll we'll look at a different way to secure this. But they were very uh, they were encouraged, but that that we applied for the grant. I think they're looking for people to give grant money to right now. So, so can I get a resolution to approve the resolution? Can I get a, a motion to approve resolution 2020-17? I made that motion. Okay, do I get a second? I'll make a second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed. Was that nay, nay Jay? I didn't. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And it, the, the uh, resolution passes. All right, public comment. Is there any public comment, Greg? There is two public comments. I will read them to you. The first one um, is from Ebby Shermer. Hello, I respectfully request that the West Rock Hill Board of Supervisors consider acting on their standing contribution to the Penridge Community Center which is commonly known as the Penridge Senior Center. I asked the supervisors to act sooner rather than later. The center has not been open since March 2020 and is in dire need of their income to cover fixed costs of mortgage and utilities. Even though the center is closed, we are working towards reopening it to serve the Penridge community as soon as it's safe and practical. West Rock Hill Township will be receiving a copy of the center's proposed budget for 2021 and an updated listing of their projected programs and brochures. Thank you for your consideration, Ebby Shermer. I'd like to comment that that is for a 2021 donation, not for 2020, which we have already given them. So next comment. Next comment is, am I muted? No, I'm still on. Next comment. Is from Tony uh, Bogner. Right, question about the MS329. What is that? There is a check written to highway materials for $116,941.10. Thanks, Tony. That is our liquid fuels money for our paving project. We pay part of our paving projects out of liquid fuels and part out of the general fund. That check. Uh, from the liquid fuels fund which is given to us by the state to pay for our paving projects okay thank you are there any other comments okay uh mike schramer i see you waving your hand do you have a comment uh yeah i just had one thing i think you had mentioned that um we would be paying off this solar panel cost over the next 11 years. Could you elaborate a little bit on what happens after the 11 years when the panel was completely paid off? Uh, what happens with that income? That will be going back into our general fund. It'll be money going back into our general fund every year. 
just like and you know the health insurance money went back into the general fund same thing right is that correct greg i mean am i saying that right unless the board says otherwise everything goes into the general fund there are certain instances the board directs funds um to go into different accounts for example um if the board says for the solar panels, the money that we save in electrical costs goes to the reserve fund every month or every year, we'll put it in. Always in December, um, we transfer 18,000 plus from the equipment fund to pay back to the reserve fund to pay for the 10 wheeler truck we bought a couple years ago. So certain instances, it goes to other funds, but unless the board directs, it goes into the general fund. Okay, thank you, Mike. Hearing no other comments, we well, make, make, uh, did you have something? Jay, did you have something? No, oh, I, I was ready to uh, make a motion to go into uh, executive session. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Breaking up again. All right. So, yeah, okay. I We will. Uh, make a motion to close out the meeting. Can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll make that motion. Thank you, Jay. Uh, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Thank Aye. you. All right. Good night, everyone, and thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.